So you think you can't create comics with AI? Watch this. Back off or eat leave. Not until you surrender the artifact. It doesn't belong to your kind, is it? Nor does it belong to the cartel. Regardless, you'll be a corpse a minute from now. Think you can dodge bullets? Like it's child's play. Cartel scum! Hi, my name is Evan and I'm an AI-powered storyteller. In this video, I'll be teaching you a comic creation process that's faster, cheaper, and produces better results than traditional methods. And I don't mean short comic strips. I mean full-blown 30 to 40 page books. Even graphic novels that could reach hundreds of pages are now possible. Be sure to watch till the end to see the finished product. Here's what you need. A mid-journey account and a graphic design tool for the layout such as Canva or Photoshop. You may use other tools as long as you follow the same principles. The first step is to generate your character reference. Doing this is simple. All you need to do is generate a portrait of your character. You may use this prompt template as a starting point, but really, I'm sure you'll figure out different ways to generate a portrait in mid-journey. You'll need a mid-journey account to generate your images. Let me demonstrate so you can follow. My story has two main characters. Character 1, the protagonist. A cartel sicario, looking badass. Character 2, the anti-hero, a Yakuza assassin. I think I'm gonna make the title Sicario vs Yakuza Assassin. What do you think? Anyway, you're probably wondering, why do these characters look so lifelike? Aren't comics usually 2D drawings? Exactly. See, this is what blew my mind. This new feature is so powerful that it doesn't matter that our reference images are photorealistic. Step 2. Generate the story outline. To keep the video short, I'll start with just two pages. But this process can do 100 pages if need be. Here is my outline. I highly recommend to keep it short with roughly 6 panels per page. Mine has a total of 12 panels. Step 3. Generate your comic scene by scene. This is the most fun part. We're about to create the comic scenes. But first, you need a platform for the layout. I recommend using Canva if you're a complete beginner and Photoshop if you're more advanced. Now, I'm already done with the first page of my comic, so I'm going to proceed with the second page for demonstration purposes. Going back to my script, here is panel 1. The Sicario is slammed against a wall or into garbage, thinking this guy is bad news. Here's where we left off in the last page. As you can see, they're having this confrontation here. I would like the Yakuza guy to be able to uh, get the upper hand. So the idea is that the Sicario is slammed against the wall, uh, perhaps by a kick. So let me generate that. Now that I have my prompt here, next thing I need to do is to use the character reference feature. Very easy. Just type in dash dash CREF, then space, then the URL of the image. Remember, this doesn't work for just any image link. It has to be generated by Midjourney. Otherwise, it won't be consistent. In my case, I've been using this character as my Yakuza. So just copy and paste the image link like this and then paste it here then next thing is to type in the character reference weight denoted by numbers 0 to 100 but to make things simple I would recommend sticking to 70 that's the sweet spot for me and that's what I recommend to you as well and I also recommend using an aspect ratio of 3 is to 2 but you have more leeway to use whatever aspect ratio for you want hmm not exactly the image I'm trying to get at. I need to be like a simple kick. Probably a flying kick or just like a turning kick. Let's regenerate. Alright, so I had to re-roll a bunch of times in order to get the image that I want. And luckily, I finally got one. This one. I think this is good enough. So I'm going to click upscale here. Now this is what I'll be using. I'll only be needing this part here. Next thing to do is download this image. Save it. And then I recommend using Photo Room's background remover tool. We have to remove the background. 
Now I got this image on Photoshop. Now I need to generate the Sicario being pushed against the wall here by this kick. Alright, next it's time to generate the Sicario being slammed against the wall, hurled by the kick. So the same principles apply. I'm going to use this as the reference image like this. Let me just ready this one. Dash dash C ref space then the link of the image and then i could just write my prompt here so let me do that and then the parameters character reference weight let me stick to 70. you may adjust this one if you want the, the aspect ratio of three is to two so i generated a bunch of poses of the sicario and this one is the most suitable for me the color of his pants are too bright, but that can easily be fixed in Photoshop. Here we go. Now we got our pose. Next, it's time to generate the background. Now, to generate a semi-consistent background, all you need to do is use one of the existing backgrounds you use. In my case, I use this, which I got from this. I used this one previously on my first page. In this panel as you can see all i need to do is re-roll any of these images here and then just add the changes i need for the prompt let me just add a negative prompt here no people guy man the purpose of this is just to avoid having figures or people or some some guy in the background we only need the background Alright, a few rerolls later, I finally found the right background for me, so I'm going to be using this one. So I'm going to upscale that. Here, we got our background. Now it's time for me to edit them as one panel. Alright, so we got the half panel right here. Now it's time to create the other half here. Guys, I think I've done at least 8 rerolls to get to <laughs> the right image. But finally, I got this too. Both can work. Um, I think I'm gonna go with... Nah, I'm gonna go with this one. Alright. Alright. Looks good. Now, I don't want to bore you with a long and repetitive tutorial. So I'm just gonna finish the rest of the panels myself before we move forward to the next step. One thing I'd like to point out is that while AI makes a creation easier, it's not a perfect tool. And oftentimes, you may have to do a few rerolls to get the image you want, as I've shown you today. And there may be times when you have to make compromises, as Midjourney cannot generate everything your mind can imagine. But whenever you face a roadblock in your process, just remember that our predecessors used to hand draw each of these panels. Coloring and shading are separate tasks as well. So we're very lucky to have AI in this day and age. And it's only gonna get better from here. Now I'm done generating the panels of page 2. Looks good, but some of you might think it doesn't look professional. And you're right. Some of the features are inconsistent. Like is he supposed to be wearing a jacket or a tank top? Like here, it's not the same. Why are there different tattoos? More importantly, so much slashing, why is there no blood? But don't worry, these things are easy to fix. Let me show you. To remove things you don't like, click the remove tool. Now cover all the areas you want removed. You may use it the same way you use a brush. I'm removing the tattoos and necklaces. Just cover everything up. Fixing clothing just requires a little bit of Photoshop magic. The idea is to copy a section of the correct clothing. This works with limbs as well. I am by no means an expert in painting blood, but I follow a simple concept. Darker shades of red for the deep wound, and lighter shades for the drips. Shadows are the most important element you can add post-image generation. Without them, your character will look like they're floating. To create a shadow, click on the lasso tool. Draw the shadow outline, paint it black, use the Gaussian Blur tool, then decrease the opacity. Keep it simple. Now that we got a decent comic page, let's move on to the final step, adding the balloons. My page 1 already has them, but my page 2 doesn't. 
To acquire balloons, just head to Google and search for Comic Balloons PNG and just download them. I already downloaded some right here. For the first panel, we're gonna be using the thought bubble, this one, and this will be the thought. All I got to do is add the text here. I think I'm gonna put it here. Now what I'm gonna do here is adjust the thought bubble to accommodate for the text. Make sure to click this one. For panel two, it says I need a plan fast. So just copy this one, put it right here. Copy this one. So you get the idea, right? Let me just add the rest real quick. And we're done. All right, you've seen how it's done. Now let me show you the finished product. Hoping this will inspire you to create your own. Back off or eat leave. Not until you surrender the artifact. It doesn't belong to your kind, is it? Nor does it belong to the cartel. Regardless, you'll be a corpse a minute from now. Think you can dodge bullets? Like it's child's play. Cartel scum. This guy is bad news. You need a plan, fast, or I'm a dead man. Any last words? Think fast. It turns out, guns aren't child's play after all. The audio is really bad. Sorry. This is only for demonstration purposes. But it's enough to showcase what's possible if you put just a teeny bit of effort into creating. Two last things. First off, I look forward to seeing all of your AI-powered creations. More importantly, if you have questions, email me at evan at neoblush.com. I'll spend some time answering queries for the next few days while I go on vacation. But you gotta be a subscriber though. And oh, if you're into children's books, check out my last video.